Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, it's me, Wade96, and RZKill50 playing some heavy weapon. Um, this game is one of my favorites. It's, like, it's one of my favorite games. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, it jumps in a little bit ahead. It's still under one minute, though. I think it jumps in at, like, 20 seconds or so. And for people who haven't played this game, what the point is, is we're playing a war party. Uh, so pretty much what it is, is we're trying to last the longest, and as long as one person is alive, everybody can spawn back in. And what, um, RC Killers got there, Dante, the red guy, is is a, uh, laser. You get all four components that drop out of aircrafts, and you get that, you get the super laser. Um, if you don't shoot it, it will go away, um, and if you shoot it, it will just go away faster. But, yeah, that's... Pretty much what the super laser is. And, um, me and them have played, uh, sorry about this. Uh, one of the controllers died, so I paused it. I mean, we, I've had this game for a long time. See, we just hit the one minute mark. I've had this game for a long time, and we've always played it whenever they come over. It's just a fun game, especially if you have four people, but. Uh, we use, use this us three. It's not a lot of people, not my friends in my neighborhood. And the controls are against, so, um, but I think that's when I put the charge and play kit in or something, so and that stops doing that. And pretty much. So you're just fighting waves and waves of enemies. Like, then it's not stop, it's not like pause, like in zombies or, uh, zombies. Um, and pretty much. What you have as enemies are the planes. You got like the B-52s, the little uh, guys that go by. And the B-52s drop four bombs as the little guys drop one. And you got the red ones that heat seek on after X amount of time. But you can see you start seeing trucks coming in at um, once you get to a certain point. And after the trucks come tanks. And after the tanks come bulldozers. And those things, oh my god, they are ridiculous. You'll see a little arrow start in the corner, but like you can't really see them because they're fainted, and the bullets are coming as soon as it touches you, you're dead. You can still spawn back in though, um, but like, with the missiles, you can blow the missiles up, you can uh, shoot the missile and blow up, but you see like, the helicopters starting to shoot purple things, um, I don't really remember what they are, but what it is, is they break through your shields, you can't shoot them unless you have a super laser or you pop out a nuke. And that's pretty much it. And right here, me and Wade died, so it's up to RZ kill. Um, and then we just, he doesn't have to do it for that long. And we just spawn back in. You see right there, one of the little, that was one of the components. You also have this little, um, a friendly helicopter that flies by. It'll drop you stuff down. Like, if you look at me, uh, the green one in the far right, I shoot a three spread. I have flat cannon. Um, I just got an upgraded, um, shoots my bullets are bigger i have a shield and i have a little orb that'll go around and uh hit missiles that come if it gets a chance then if you look at red rz kill 50 he's got a laser on his and so does uh wade over there but wade's also got lightning and lightning is great because it bounces from enemy to enemy as they pop onto the screen like you don't even have to be shooting it'll just keep going Uh, but in this one, this is two games. Um, yeah, read the billboard in the back, it says, Bite Me. Uh, but yeah, if you look in the background, you see missiles shooting off, and then wait a second, those are the missiles dropping right there. And so you're just trying to fight off waves and waves as they get uh, stronger and stronger. And that's pretty much the whole concept of the game, you're trying to last the longest. Uh, we are at the four minute mark, and I don't know if it's this game or the next game that we beat our high high uh, score. But yeah, um, so you see now we got different types of helicopters that shoot out two missiles that are smaller and harder to hit, and also shoot them out of arcs, making it even more difficult. You know, I don't know what he was doing here, just trying to annoy me. Oh, you also get nukes. At certain points, it'll drop nukes, and you click the trigger to shoot off a nuke. What nuke does, it kills everything on the map. 
kills everything on the map, and if there's like something in the background, like a billboard or something, that's destructible territory. If you're shooting it off when a billboard or something's in the background, it'll blow up. And you see that's the one right there, the little white helicopter that drops your power-ups. And that thing kills everything in a one-shot. Now, most of these things aren't hard to kill, but some of the what they drop sometimes can be difficult. Like, there's atom bombs in here that you'll get to see. And what they do is they, well, they drop <sighs> these big, like, tan planes. Uh, they're like these big tan planes. Like, they almost take up like where that satellite is. It's about the whole satellite. And they just drop these nice big atom bombs. And if you don't blow them up in time, like, if they touch you, they touch the ground, they'll explode, kills everybody on the map, not just you. And that's pretty much it. And these missiles uh, start getting, like, more and more. They come in bigger waves. Just more at a time and stuff. But, like, it's still, it's just mainly the same, same things. Um... There's also a... I don't really know what to call it. It's like a... Uh... Turn that up for you guys. I don't know how you can hear it. It's like, um... What's the word to describe it in? It, it's pretty much like a satellite. In a way. And what that does, it drops... A laser after X amount of time, and what the laser does is the laser will kills everyone in the map just like the atomic bomb. So yeah, you really don't want either one of those hitting the ground. You can see like there's more missiles now, and they're getting like more and more and more. And I think we end up blowing a nuke up here because it it just gets too um crazy. Uh, yeah, so, <sighs> sorry, I'm tired, so I played a couple games of, uh, was it the double XP 24-7 Nuketown, like I said I was gonna in my last video, still didn't get to play a lot, but I played some, alright, if you look at me green, I got two different missiles shooting off here, I got the heat seekers and the dummy missiles, now what a dummy missile is, it'll just fly out to where you're shooting, but the heat seeker does what it says. It seeks out the planes. It blows them up. So both are really good. You can get up to three going, I think, at a time. And it's not like just your your thing stays the same and just starts shooting stuff out. Your thing will adapt. It will grow. It will grow stuff. Like the orbs. Also, the laser. You'll see a little thing, like a little circle on the gun. Like a donut almost. And then for the missiles things you'll see uh like a rod that pops out from the um from your gun. I can't really tell by looking at mine because I have a really heavy shield so it's darker. Yeah, so you see there's a nuke. Can you see the billboard got blown up in the background now? There's an atomic bomb. If you guys were looking. Like watch watch the screen. You'll see an atomic bomb flying. There's one on the right. Here, if another one pops in, I'll see if I can uh, pause it in time and show you guys it. Right there. See it? That's the atomic. That's the uh, atomic bomb right there. That's the plane. And when that thing hits the ground, you're dead. If it hits you, you're dead. So that's the atomic bomb, and the other one, the satellite, uh, I don't see it coming up here. I actually don't know where it is. I thought there was one coming in by now. But yeah, so, this is the game. I don't really have much more to say, but... I don't know. Oh, right there, you see the guy that went by that had, like, a purple shield? It shoots those orbs. But if you don't kill it, it'll start shooting missiles at you. 
So pretty much, like, you're forced to blow it up. When you do, it shoots out the purple the purple orbs that well, you can't blow up. Right here, if you look at Wade, the, uh, the blue one, he was just getting bombarded by the kamikazes. <laughs> he, was, he was screaming so loud in it, because it kept killing him. And it gets down to me, and that's the game over. And, yes, that's it. We got five iron means I got four seventy five. Dante got three forty five. We had thirty seven kill percentage out of thirty five. Dante had twenty five. All right, now this is our second game. Now you see, like it's kind of it's it's kind of boring and annoying because now we're just we're so weak and Dante already died because he's Dante. No, I died actually. Oh crap! All right, scratch that. I died. <laughs> I think I was texting them. I was just trying to get to my corner. Like, see, when we play this game, we always play it with a plan. So when we get, the, somebody get uh, the right, somebody gets left, somebody gets middle. And if we have four people, it's somebody gets right, somebody gets left, somebody gets um, inner left, somebody gets inner right. But you just don't have four people a lot. So yeah, we just do this setup. And whoever's in the middle is just like ground control in whatever we miss. And it's usually Dante because he's not very good at not it. <sighs> We're just calling left or right side. But yeah. If you see my name moves in the top left because uh, my name's longer. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Sorry, hello off topic. And you see when those little, uh, when you get your power ups. They'll hit the ground and they'll stay there. When you get the components for the laser, if they hit the ground, they explode. So, yeah. And this is the one where we beat our record. Our record was 12 minutes, and we get to 13 minutes and something seconds. And she's just spazzing out with the laser. So again, we got the trucks, we got the B-52s. Those trucks are really annoying. For being ground control, they're really annoying. And they always shoot an arc, but their arcs, their arcs will change for every missile they shoot. Like if you blow, if, it, if uh, one shoots off a missile and you blow it up, it goes X amount of feet. If a second one comes, it'll go the next X amount of feet. Like, it won't restart it. it. just keeps dragging on. <clears throat> so. <sighs> and there's an achievement, I think, that we were trying to get, um, uh, for getting to 15 minutes. And we got, really got kind of mad when we got to 13 and, uh, died. But. Eh, stuff happens. We run out of nukes. <laughs> we were just, we were all clicking the, clicking the uh, triggers like it was, it, like our lives depended on it. So we didn't have a nuke, and apparently, if you don't, if you keep clicking it, you don't get a nuke. That would've been nice though if we did. So yeah, right here we're at the three minute mark. Three minutes. Ten more minutes. I'm running out of things to talk about. So if any, of, if any of you like this game and you don't have it already, I would say go ahead and buy it. The campaign is difficult. I'll say that. It's ex extremely difficult. Like the first bit, it's okay. But once you get to, um, I don't know what I'm at. I mean, like the ghost town part of it, it gets so hard. Because you got more of the guys coming in and you got the purple things flying everywhere. So, yeah, it gets pretty difficult. But for the first part, it's pretty easy. 
It's just something to keep you busy. <sighs> it's definitely an addictive game. That's for sure. Alright. So, I guess what I'll talk about is the HUD. So, you see, it's got the names of everybody. It's got their scores. Then, when you look at the middle, it's got the amount of nukes. You can only hold three nukes. And what we do is, like, when we have three nukes, everybody has a nuke. Somebody shoots their off, they lose their nuke. And when we get another one back, they're the first one to get it. On the right, you see that thing going on? That's the laser, who Dante's spazzing out with, because he likes the spaz. And when you see when it's gone, it's black. As you get a component, it'll add a little square, a little square, a little square, and a little square. Then you have the laser. And right below that, you have the timer. And the timer just smacks five minutes. So right now we're at the five minute mark, we're just, we're not doing uh, too bad. We're not having problems or anything going here, so I think we'll be pretty fine. Also another thing is, uh, that that uh, plane won't always drop you a power up. We were playing and we started to realize that it didn't, it didn't always drop us power ups. And we don't really understand why. I think there's one point where it didn't drop any of us power-ups. Um, maybe, maybe it just we grabbed it so fast, or it really didn't drop us power-up, but we didn't, we didn't see it. But yeah, so maybe it doesn't like us. Who knows? All right, so this video is coming up on 17 minutes, with the timer coming up on six minutes, and. So as far as power ups go, you can have a laser, um, dummy rockets, heat seeker rockets, uh, flat cannon, and orbs. Now orbs protect you from sometimes protect you from missiles. If it's if they're going around you at the right time and they hit it, you're protected. But if not, you don't. You have to go through you. If you have a shield, the shield will go. The shield will start to disintegrate. But if you don't have a shield, you're dead. If it's a missile, if it's a purple orb, doesn't matter. You're dead. You know, right here you got the blimps. I forgot to mention those. Very much, they just float across the screen and they'll drop a missile every now and then. But it's just they're so big that you really can't like not shoot them. And when you blow them up, oh, here's a. Uh, that was one of the lasers. What it does, it's, it hovers around the map. There's one on the left. And the thing at the bottom, will, you'll start seeing like a shiny little uh, blue thing growing. That's the laser. If it gets to a certain point, it shoots down the laser, you're dead. Right, so back to the blimps. When you blow them up, it drops uh, all these purple orbs. And they can be in any any order, any pattern. Or they can all be together, they're going to be spread out. And just, yeah, that's... That's pretty much all they are. And the kamikazes, oh god, they're annoying. Like, they'll fly on the screen nice and nice. Once they drop, they drop like a rocket. You know, you usually end up getting them before they drop, but we're just having a lot of problems with them. And they kept annoying them really bad. <laughs> he kept hitting them on the left side, and uh, I got maybe one or two on the right side. And it was just starting to really piss them off. <clears throat> So, you're pretty much fine in this until a purple orb gets you, and I think that takes out two points of your shield, if you have shield. Also, you spawn in with one point shield, but you can't really see, because that's how thin it is. Like, the more shields you get, the thicker it gets, thicker it gets. It stops at, I think, five shield, and that's max. You see, if you look at Wade, Wade's got triple rocket, he's got the laser going... And he's shooting, what, like a 6 spread? Dante's got double dummy rockets shooting a 6 spread with a laser. I got uh, triple dummy rockets, I think. Yeah, triple dummy rockets with a laser shooting a 6 spread. And yeah, Wade's also got his heat seek, and I think I do too. But yeah. And me and Dante both have one orb. Oh, the more orbs you have, the slower it starts to rotate. With one, it rotates fast. 
two, it gets a little slower. Three, it gets nice and slow. Now, if you look, uh, we start got we start to get tanks coming in, and the tanks. Oh God, the tanks. They're there and they shoot like mini guns. They shoot a purple orb that will fly, and they are just so annoying. All right, now if you look, Nani's got one orb, and you see how fast we're going. Look at mine. I have two orbs. It's a little slower. And we were actually pretty happy we got this uh that laser there because these missiles started to drop and there there's so many of them. It's uh what it's ten? Oh, there's a bulldozer. <laughs> it takes me out. Dante immediately clicks both triggers. Thank God it didn't waste two nukes. And then you got the uh, stronger B-52s. I drop heavier bombs. I'll take down. I think two shield. Yeah, now we're getting tanks, and tanks I'm fine with, but when those bulldozers come, oh my god, those bulldozers, as soon as they hit you, you're dead, and now we're getting atom bombs, we're getting the, uh, corner divers, corner divers is they dive in, shoot a, uh, a probe thing and dive out, right here, yeah, we know, we didn't, we got all the stuff on the ground, we didn't pick it up, I pull off a nuke, and then we get it right back up, I didn't even notice we had anything on the ground, as you see, right now we're getting, like, really, really heavily bombarded. We got the missiles coming in. We got, uh... I just stopped it there. We had the purple guys, we had the missiles, we had the purple orbs. We had the tanks. And it was, it was just horrible. And right here, it's really bad. And we're at the 11 minute mark, we hold off for two more minutes. And then we just, we just get annihilated. And you apparently get to see that. So I know I'm dead. Uh, and there I'm spawning back in, picking up my shield. We got me and Dante now have double orbs. We've got a single. And we got a laser here. Thank God. See, now you got boulders are coming in. Like one after the other, that's what you hear. And we try our best to defend off, but we don't really hear them when they come in. So, yeah, that's, I pretty much gave you a rundown on all the enemies, or all the enemies I know. And right here you see Wade dies, me and Dante, we've, Dante dies. I'm sitting here, I'm yelling at them to get back in the game, get back in the game. Alright, now they're spawning back in, I was holding off there with that nuke going off. And, oh, thank god we get this laser here. We're at 12.39, 12.40 now. And it, it was just... It's so hard. Right here, we're out of nukes. Alright. And they both lose their shields. Here comes a bulldozer on the side. And all these purple orbs are flying everywhere. We don't know what to do. Right there. Bam. 13 minutes. We hit the 13 minutes. We got a couple seconds after. Wade dies first. Then Dante, then me. That's the order it went in. And we got to 13 minutes and 13 seconds. And that's what we ended up at. We had 635, I had 605, Dante had 456. And it was, it was really hard. It's definitely a fun game. It's a hard game. And you can just keep uh, trying to get these things. Trying to get farther and farther. I think... World record is like two hours, two and a half hours. But yes, that's the video. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.